The Twilight Forest opens a portal to a new magical dimension where you'll face eight new bosses found within eight biomes. You should take note that these biomes are blocked off by a barrier until you've defeated the boss from the previous biome, creating a fun and unique progression system. Throughout your journey through the Twilight Forest, you'll find tons of new loot, including armor sets and weapons. Let's start with the portal by digging a 2x2 hole in the dirt, filling it with water, and surrounding it with flowers. Now throw a diamond in the water, and a lightning bolt will strike down and open the portal. You can now jump inside and travel to the Twilight Forest. The first stage is going to be the forest, where you'll have to start by locating a naga found inside a courtyard. This is the first boss you will encounter, and probably the easiest. After you defeat the naga, you'll find a chest in the middle of the courtyard. Inside this chest, you'll find naga scales, and you can craft this into armor and weapons, and you'll also find a naga trophy. After you have picked up the naga scales, the second half of the forest will be accessible. Here you'll find a large tower with a twilight lich waiting at the top. When you defeat the lich, you'll find one of four scepters and a lich trophy. And the scepter will be what unlocks the swamp where you'll find a labyrinth hidden underground. These labyrinths have many levels, but you'll find the Minish Room on the bottom floor. Defeating him will get you Meat Stroganoff and a Minish Room Trophy. Eating the Stroganoff will allow you to enter the Fire Swamp, where you'll have to find a Hydra in his lair. This is one of the more difficult bosses, I would say, yet the rewards are well worth it. Upon defeating him, you will get Hydra Chops, Fury Blood, and a Hydra Trophy. Hydra Chops will refill your entire hunger bar, while Fury Blood can make special tools like an auto smelting pickaxe or a sword that auto cooks. The Fury Blood is what unlocks the Dark Forest where you'll need to find a goblin stronghold. There will be a pedestal on the surface that you will place any of your trophies on to unlock the stronghold. Inside the stronghold, you'll find a Knight Phantom which drops some knight armor and tools. After you defeat the Knight Phantom, you will be able to travel to the center of the Dark Forest to find the Dark Tower. Here you will find the Yurgast, which is the most difficult boss, but if you play your cards right, it could be quick. When you defeat the Yurgast, you'll get another trophy, more Fury Blood, and Carmentite. Once you've picked up the Carmentite, you can locate the Frozen Forest, where you'll have to find an Alpha Yeti in his lair. The Yeti will drop a Yeti trophy along with some Yeti fur. This fur allows you to travel into the glacier to find the Aurora Palace, with the Snow Queen waiting for you at the top. This is going to be the final boss to complete the progression in the Twilight Forest, but after you defeat the Snow Queen, you'll get the Snow Queen trophy in either a Tri Bow or a Seeker Bow. Even though this was the final boss, the last stage is probably one of the best. You first need to get magical beans dropped by cave trolls in the mushroom vaults or breaking thorn leaves. When you have magical beans, locate a cottage cloud floating in the sky and plant them in uberous soil under it. This will grow into a giant beanstalk so you can climb to the top and find the giant version of yourself. You need to find the one holding the pickaxe and defeat him so you can get his giant pickaxe used to open a vault. Underneath Uberus soil, you'll find troll caves where you can find these giant obsidian vaults. You can only open these with the giant pickaxe, but inside the vault you will find the lamp of cinders. This will allow you to burn through thorns and reach the thornlands. Here you'll find the final plateau, which is just a massive structure with nothing. But it's about the journey, not the destination, right? Well, on the bright side, there's still so much more to explore throughout the dimension. You'll find smaller structures with unique loot and mobs, smaller side quests, and even more. If you do want to play this mod for yourself, I'll have a download link in the description. And if you have any suggestions for a mod review, let me know down in the comments. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.